Hello students, in this video, I'm going to cover question number 17 of your EOD and this is your question number 2 for your writing part, okay? In this question, I'm going to cover two parts, figure number 5.13, page number 139 and question number 6.78, that is on page number 186, okay? Let's read the question, calculate graphically, we should know how to solve graphically the work done okay so you should know work done is f dot r which is equals to f r cos of theta this is a general formula okay we will solve with the graphically method also on an object from initial to the final position using the force versus position graph okay we will solve that second solve the problem related to work done by journal variable force okay the same thing apply the work kinetic energy theorem that is also called wet work energy theorem to situation where object move in variable force okay now guys let's move to the question the figure number one 5.13 a part a series of rectangles approximates the area under the curve obtained by plotting the force as a function of displacement okay what he said what he's trying to tell us that work done is equals to area under the curve so we are looking for the area area of what f multiply r clear so you can say area of y multiply x so this is the area i will explain in detail huh? B, a better approximation using the rectangles of small width. C, exact area. Okay, leave all these things. I'll tell you a very easy way. How to solve work done? The first technique is work done is equals to F dot D, which should be F D cosine theta. This is the first technique. Second technique, let's say if you have a graph in any question, let's say this is your graph, here is force, here is displacement D, I just want to tell you in terms of graph, you have two things, one is called slope and one is called area, what is the meaning of this thing? In terms of graph, we have two axes, this is y axis, this is x axis. Slope is equals to y-axis divided by x-axis. I will give an example so that you can relate and solve the other questions also. Let's say you are solving this is velocity, this is your time and this is your slope. Okay. So how you will solve the slope of VT graph? Can I say velocity divided by time? And if you know velocity divided by time, what is the value? Acceleration. Yes or no? So can I say slope of VT graph is equals to acceleration? Yes or no? Fine. Okay. Now in terms of area, whatever we have, let's say Y axis and X axis. So area is equals to Y multiply X y multiply x so area y multiply x let's say as per this question we have force we have uh, you can say the distance so can i say work done is equals to force multiply distance yes or no this is our area okay so the same thing how you are going to solve this simple way if they are looking for work done f multiply d clear okay there is one more technique third if you you need to solve when the limits are given limits because in the question they are asking you two limits x initial x final in that case we are going to use integration work done is equals to x initial x final f d x f d x so in that case what you can do f when you solve it you will get x final minus x initial you just need to use this technique
clear all the three techniques are available with you so that in the question whenever this type of question will come you can solve them okay let's move to the real question the graph shows a component f cos theta if you remember i told you work done is equals to f dot d which is equals to f d cosine theta you can separate them f cos theta one quantity and distance is the second quantity distance you can use in terms of d in terms of r in terms of x depending upon the question clear the graph shows the component f cos theta the net force that acts on 2 kg so mass is given 2 kg as it moves along a horizontal surface okay fine find the net work done on the block okay so part a we are looking for net work done okay now nothing is given here we have to check the graph okay as per the graph i told you area area under the graph okay just see here huh? i will use the different color okay we have first this line is there any area is there any area okay just separate your question 0 to 1 straight line straight line yes or no no area covered area it is a line huh? so it is zero clear okay 1 to 5 just take this so can i say this is the area yes or no this is the area so work done 1 to 5 1 to 5 solve this so we have force times distance what is the value of force or uh, the value of force is 2 and how much distance i covered 5 minus 1 so can i say 2 multiply 4 which should be equals to 8 j clear okay now move to the next part work done 5 to 7 okay the force is negative 1 yes or no negative 1 multiply the distance is 7 minus 5 so negative 1 times 2 which is equals to negative 2 joule so what is the net work done net work so can i say work done 1 plus work done 1 to 5 plus work done 5 to 7 solve this 0 plus 8 minus 2 which is equals to 6 joule clear now you understand okay move to the next part b the final speed okay of the block if it starts from rest s is equals to 0 so we are looking for b part we are looking for velocity as we know work done is equals to kinetic energy yes or no okay work done is 6 joule which is equals to half m v f square minus v i square yes or no half mv square you can say kinetic energy is equals to half mv square if you have two options v final and v initial then it will become half m vf square minus vi square yes or no okay so as it said starts from rest v initial is 0 6 equals to half m vf square minus 0 take to the side 12 is equals to m vf square so vf square is equals to 12 divided by what is the value of mass 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 okay mass is 2 kg so 12 divided by 2 which is equals to 6 so what i have v square is equals to 6 v is equals to root 6 which is equals to 2.45 meter per second clear guys easy okay so just do practice one or two times and you are comfortable with these type of question and in during the exam you can solve them just like a piece of cake okay so guys keep on sharing and give me your feedbacks if you understand the question or still if you have any doubt you can ask me 
so guys till then take care bye and i will meet you in the next video okay